In this video, I'm going to show you how you can reduce the size of your application. When you publish an application in Google Play Store, uh, one of the things that contribute to the success or failure of your application is the size of your app. When the user is comparing between three or four different applications, one of the things that they looked at is how big is the application, especially when the user doesn't have enough space in their phone. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can do that, how you can decrease the size of your app in three easy steps. The first one is to be able to analyze your final APK. And for that, we're going to build an APK. So I'm going to click on build, build APK. You can also build a sign APK, which is this one here, but I don't need it to be signed because I'm not going to publish it on the uh, Google Play Store. So once the APK is built, um, I'm going to click on this link here, which is analyze the APK. And uh, this will give me the structure of my APK file. Notice that the size of my APK is 5.2 megs, uh, which is a medium size app. Um, and uh, also take a look at the, um, uh, the biggest file inside my APK. The biggest file is this classes.dex file. It is about three megs and uh, it's occupying 64% of my uh, of the size of my APK. So I will benefit, uh, definitely benefit from, from decreasing this uh, classes DAX file. And uh, usually these files are your um, Java uh, code compiled into this uh, classes that DEX file. Another folder um, that is of interest here is the REST folder. And here is where my um, images file and my um, XML file uh, are stored. Um, but most uh, applications benefit from being able to shrink these classes that DEX file, which is the Java code. So let's get started. The first thing that you should consider in order to, um, to decrease the size of your app is by using uh, vector images whenever possible. I would definitely consider substituting all your vector images, uh, all your, um, your PNG images by vector images. So if you click on the drawables, notice that I, all that I have is vector images, which, you, which are this XML file. If you click on it, you, you see that uh, it's nothing more than a text file, which is rendered into the application to form an image file. And this definitely will help your application. Uh, images, PNG images files um, tend to grow pretty large, especially when you have to use images file for different resolutions. The higher the resolution, the bigger the, the image file. So that's step number one. Step number two is to use ProGuard. If you click on build Gradle file, you want to include ProGuard uh, plugin into your, uh, into your application. And uh, what ProGuard is going to do, actually in order to be able to use ProGuard, you need to use these two lines together, Minify Enable and the ProGuard plugin. When you tell your application that you want to Minify, you need to turn Minify Enable to true. And that is what is going to use ProGuard to, uh, it does two things. One, it obfuscates the code, which makes it difficult to reverse engineer for someone who uh, wants to um, open your final APK and read your Java code. It makes it difficult uh, to read the code. That's one. And the other one is that it removes any unused Java code from your, um, from your final APK. So I would say that this alone is capable of reducing your APK file by, by at least 50%. So that is the second step. The third and final step is to uh, enable shrink, re shrink resources. And this is going to help you if you have a lot of images, uh, like PNG files and, and that sort of thing, it will reduce the size of those PNG files. So I'm going to enable this one to true. And once that's done, I'm going to sync my Gravel file and build an APK and analyze it to compare the final result. So I'm going to click on build, build APK. And 
and after a few seconds we should be getting the link hopefully it don't take too long to click on analyze apk and i noticed that i was able to reduce my apk file from 5.4 5.7 almost 6 megabytes to 2.9 or 3 megs which is half the size of my, uh, of my APK file. I was able to reduce it by more than 50%. Notice the class that's that DEX file, I was able to bring it down to 1.5 megs from 3. Point, I believe it was 3.4. So definitely consider using ProGuard uh, when, um, uh, when building your final APK. And that's my video. I hope it was helpful. And uh, as always, remember to subscribe and uh, see you in the next video.